today I'm going to be reviewing the close up fingerboard um, generation 4 I'm going to start off with the rip tape it's uh, really really grippy um, it's almost like you're touching like an eraser like it's really really grippy and well that's basically it on the grip tape it comes with two sheets um, one normal and the other one foam tape, rip tape, or whatever, and it's got the little skull hand logo with the fingerboard on it, and, um, now let's get to the deck. It's five plies, um, it's a red ply on the bottom, yeah, oh, yeah, you can't see it, right, red ply on the bottom, then a wood ply, then a red ply, then a wood ply, then a red ply, and then the top blue ply, and, which is a very strong, it's not, doesn't flex, um, it's got a lot of pop to it, like, and the kicktails, they're just about a tech deck height, but, like, it's higher off the ground, it's a little bigger than a tech deck, the whole thing, all together, and, uh, that's about it for the deck. Really strong, really durable. And the trucks, I'd say, the trucks are pretty... Well, the bushings inside is probably what you want to upgrade first. Next time you need to tune your tech deck or whatever. Or fingerboard. Um, so, yeah. Otherwise, they're all good. They're good for grinding. They're wide. Um, which is cool because... I don't really know why, but like the turning... Is really good. Um, yeah, but the bushings, they kind of dig in to the spacers inside. But the wheels, the wheels are amazing. They're made out of urethane. Oh, I'll see if you can see this or not. But it says close up. Close up urethane. So, yeah. And they're pretty grippy. It's hard to move on here. And they roll super smooth. Um, yeah, but, they have a little metal piece inside, so you can see that, I don't know if you can, but, it's got a little metal piece, which makes it roll super smooth, just put some lubricant in there, or whatever, and it'll roll super smooth, so, yeah, that's the review of the close-up fingerboard.